Then my brothers and sisters, when the masajid, the restrictions are lifted and their doors are flung open to the general public as it should be, remember, don't drive past the masjid knowing that it is the time of salah and this is the house of Allah. Allah only invites to his houses those whom he knows are close to him. Subhanallah. And why I say this is because there is a clear cut hadith that talks about the VIPs on the day of judgment. And I've mentioned this many times where the Prophet ﷺ clearly says, Rajulun qalbuhu mu'allakum bil masajid. A person whose heart is connected to the houses of Allah, to the places of prostration. Subhanallah, that person will have a special shade on the day of reckoning when there will be no shade but the shade given by Allah. So let your heart be connected to the masjid in such a way that even if there are restrictions, the pain that is felt in your heart depicts the connection that you have with the houses of Allah. And the fact that you're prostrating, even though you might be at home, is something amazing. It is a sign of closeness to Allah. It brings me to Musa alayhi salam and Harun alayhi salam when the two of them made a dua to Allah to protect them from the Pharaoh and Fir'aun and to save the people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says thereafter, قَالَ قَدْ أُجِيبَتْ دَعْوَتُكُمَا فَاسْتَقِيمًا Indeed, the dua or the supplication of both of you has been answered. So, be steadfast. Be very steadfast. And in a verse just preceding that, Allah says, اِجْعَلُوا بُيُوتَكُمْ قِبْلَةً وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةِ Make sure that you have taken your houses as the direction of prayer towards Allah and make sure that you fulfill your prayer. Obviously their prayer was slightly different from that which was prescribed upon us through Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But they too had a direction. They too had a prayer, a type of salah that they fulfilled for Allah's sake, according to the instruction of Allah. And Allah says, if you want the goodness, make sure that even your homes are considered places of worship, places of prayer. How many of us have a lot of dirty things at home? Take them out. Whether they are magazines, whether they are whatever else it may be, Sometimes we sit in our houses and we watch programs that are displeasing to Allah, knowing that this is displeasing to Allah, and your surroundings become hostile towards you because they are bearing witness against you, ready for the day of judgment. When you do something bad, the bricks and the walls and the floors and the roofs and the ceilings, all of that bears witness, it is watching. Subhanallah. It is watching. Like a CCTV, subhanallah. It is watching and it will bear witness against you or for you, subhanallah. You need to seek forgiveness in order to wipe it out. It will all be gone and you make peace with Allah. When you make peace with Allah and everything is wiped out, you will achieve peace at home. Some people say, I have no peace at home. Well, my brother, my sister, is something wrong happening at home? Are you worshipping Allah at home? Do you call the call to prayer and pray when it comes to your salawat? Do you call the adhan five times a day and fulfill your prayer? Now that the masajid have restrictions and even when the masajid do not have restrictions, it's not wrong to call the call for prayer and have salah with jama'ah for those who are remaining within the home. But we have no idea. Is your, is your house filled with Quran and tilawa and dhikr and ibadah and good uh, character and beautiful teachings for your children and so on? Or is it filled with swear words? Is it filled with hostile behavior? Is it filled with that which is displeasing to Allah? If that's the case, how do you expect that house to be filled with nur and with peace? Do you respect the scholars? Do you respect those who carry the deen? Even if they have faltered slightly here and there, they are human beings. Or do you jump on the bandwagon to swear them and belittle them and then expect the mercy of Allah when you don't even know who you swore perhaps might have been a friend of Allah? Man aada li waliyan faqad aadantuhu bil harb. Whoever has hurt a friend of mine, created enmity with a friend of mine, Whoever has harmed a friend of mine, Allah says, I've announced war against that person. 
Would you win a war against Allah? Never. So stay out of it. If you see others belittling scholars, you can stay out of it and you should stay out of it. Make dua for the betterment of all. And if you really have to correct someone, it should be done with utmost respect because you don't want to be doomed. Shaitan definitely keeps trying with us and wants us to fail my brothers and sisters. Don't let that happen.